Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Innova came out with a great little driver called the Gorgon. I've got it in pro plastic and star plastic. Which is the best version of this? Let's go find out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm out here at Angry Beaver. I've got two Gorgons. I've got a pro version, which is 168 grams. And I've also got a star version. Holy cow, hawks are going crazy over here. That is 173 grams. Are these gonna fly different? Are they gonna fly the same? I don't know. We got some nice tightly wooded courses here that we're gonna try out in the Charlotte area. I got four holes in particular that's gonna let us know which is the best one. All right, so if you didn't know, the numbers on the Gorgon are 10, 6, negative 2, 1. However, I have heard recently that they've updated the Pro Gorgon numbers to 10, 6, negative 3, 1, because the Pro is a little bit more understable, but we're going to really test that out to find out for sure. We got a nice little, I don't know, 350 foot shot here. This is a new tee out at Angry Beaver. Very tightly wooded. This would be perfect for a nice little flip up driver to get us near the basket. Let's see which one will do it. All right, let's see if the Pro Gorgon can get us through this tunnel. I'm just gonna start it to the left and see if I can get it to drift to the right and then maybe come back. There's the drift, oh my goodness. No coming back for sure. All right, let's see if the Star Gorgon can get us through this tunnel. Yes, where's that turn? Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Yes, sir, let's go, Star Gorgon. So out of the gate, first throw with both of those. I threw those pretty much identical angles, trying to start it to the left. You guys easily saw that that pro flipped big time. I mean, this seems like this would be a great roller disc. Where is that star one? Definitely had the stability to come back, put us in range. So we're gonna sign some random points as we go through this battle. So we gotta give a point, ding, to the star Gorgon on this hole. What a great drive from the long tee with the star Gorgon here. Put us pin high. We got, I don't know, 15 footer. Let's go. All right, we got another great new long tee out here at Angry Beaver. This is yet again, probably about a 350 foot shot again. We got basically a straight gap with a tiny little finish to the left. That should be perfect for these Gorgons. If I can just start it down the middle, get it to drift a little right and then come back, that'd be perfect. Actually with the Pro Gorgon, I might need to put a little hyzer on it. All right, let's start with the Star Gorgon this time. Oh, that's great. Didn't turn quite enough for me there. We're down there. All right, we're gonna lay this one flatter, little hyzer on it. <clears throat> oh, love that. Come on, be good. Be good, please. Oh. All right, guys, I think I found the magic with the Pro Gorgon. Put it on a hyzer, flip up, you still get the turn. Love it. So I've heard rumors that Innova updated the numbers of the Pro One to negative three one which based off of that shot right there i mean it's beautiful i love discs that fly like that these are gonna be great for rollers hyzer flip shots in the woods which is what we're doing now and then the star with the negative two one that's gonna be a great disc to lay flat start on the left side of a fairway count on it to drift over but yet it's still gonna have that stability that's not gonna totally turn and burn on you It'll just end up finishing on the right side of the fairway. Okay, we're gonna give the Pro a point on this one. Ding, because it had the right shape. We're still a little bit short. We ended up hitting a tree, but definitely had the right shape on it. Okay, I've got my old school Yeti with my wax saw stamp on it. Love these ones. Let's see if we can get one of these Yetis to go in. How about the Pixel? Answer is always the Pixel. Oh my goodness. Guys, I can't tell you how much I love the Pixel. Game changer for me. Okay, now we've got a real challenge for the Gorgons here. we got a par five. Basically need to try to get somewhere out to that manhole and then it turns big time to the right. Got a lot of understable shots that you can do with this one. Let's start with the Pro Gorgon. We're gonna do a little hyzer starting to the left. See if it'll flip up flat, maybe give us a little turn on it. Come on, turn, yes. Oh my goodness, that's so good. And then sit down right there. That is beautiful. Nothing more pretty than a nice flip up S-turn flight from a disc. I'm here for it. 
All right, Gorgon, we're going to do a similar shot, except I can lay this flatter, and then it should end up doing the same thing. Yeah, lay that nice and flat, get the turn, and then it's going to end up in the same spot. Oh my gosh. Those might be in the exact same spot. This Gorgon's definitely giving me Sidewinder vibes, except it can handle a little bit more speed. These nice slinky little hyzer flip lines you can do with these. I'm here for it. Okay, both these discs ended up about 10 feet apart. The Pro was inbounds. The Star was just a hair out of bounds. So we're gonna give the point to the Pro Gorgon here. We're gonna end up throwing our second shots from the same spot here. Should be able to do a nice little hyzer flip and have it drift over and maybe finish on the right side is ideal. You do not wanna finish on the left side. That's where the OB is. All right, Pro is up first. Yes, wow, lots of flip on that. All right, that shouldn't be too bad. It's a little farther to the right than I want. Okay, Star Gorgon, I'm gonna just lay this nice and flat right in the middle of the fairway. Hopefully it'll drift over a little bit, but still have a finish at the end. There's the drift. All right, good tree kick. Man, these two discs just wanna go in the same spot. So on those second shots, you definitely could see the stability difference between the Pro and the Star. Again, the Pro, I can put it on a little bit of a hyzer, it'll pop up, still finish to the right, whereas the Star, you lay it flat, drifts over the same amount. So yeah, those stability numbers are legit. All right, we're gonna give the point to the Pro Gorgon here. We're left with about 200. Kind of ridiculous to throw another Gorgon. So we're gonna do a little throw with the Yeti AVR here. This used to be one of my go-to original throwing putters. Super smooth, love it. Park job. All right, we're gonna play one more hole here. And this last one, we're gonna feature the Gorgons on a sidearm. Let's see how they throw on sidearm. All right, we got a perfect little 305 foot par three here, dead straight tunnel, finishes a little bit to the right. This is the short tee, the short basket. Should be perfect for these guys, especially with my sidearm. You guys know I don't have a very strong sidearm. 300, a little over that is pushing it for me. Let's start with the Star Gorgon. Yes, get through that sneaky route. Come on, hook up. Oh, got a late tree. Oh my gosh, Pro Gorgon. Oh, I love that. Come on, be good. Oh my goodness. Somehow got the sneaky route, went around everything. That Pro Gorgon's magic. All right, guys. Well, I think the Pro Gorgon definitely won the head-to-head -head battle, but I gotta say, I can see myself bagging both of these. This for those nice hyzer flip up with late turn finishing shots, or even extreme hyzer flip up shots with a nice finish. And then this one, give it a nice flat release, give you a nice little S turn flight. It's just beautiful. I mean, you need both of these shots, especially when you're playing in the woods. Well, if you guys are looking to get some discs like this, head on over to Disc Golf Deals USA. Use my code DiscRider, save 10%. Also, if you're looking for shoes, bag, other equipment, down in the description are links to those things, along with a way you can support me on Patreon, and I'm gonna give it back to you guys too. So check those things out. All right, until I see you next time, peace out.